We were getting into it as well. Love uh, that. Coming up on Morning Live today with news that being double jabbed will mean the end to self-isolation from the 16th of August. Dr Poonam is back with the latest on these changing rules. Mm -hmm. Plus, as England take on Denmark tonight for a place in this weekend's Euro Finals, legendary football manager Harry Redknapp's here to tell us why he thinks Gareth Southgate's team could make it all the way. Hmm. <laughs> and forces are making the most of the Euros and Wimbledon with a new cold COVID pass scam. Rav's here with all the details to make sure you're not caught. Hello, welcome to your midweek morning live. Tonight's the night then that Gareth Southgate's England football squad take on Denmark at Wembley for the chance to get to their first ever Euros final. Mm. Are you excited? About <laughs> just, just a little yes, bit. Yes, I can tell. Just a I mean, going from not knowing what the Euros were <laughs> not long ago to all of a sudden, excuse me, um, I'm actually having a ladies night with Punam tonight. We are watching are the match together with margaritas, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, the band just could be brilliant. None yeah. of us into football. <laughs> <laughs> I think people are getting into it. Yes. In terms of health, uh, there's so much we're going to get through today, including uh, the rule changes. We're getting your reaction uh, to the news. The government is scrapping class bubbles. 100,000 children were left isolating at home last week as a result of some pupils testing positive for COVID in their schools. Adding calories to restaurant menus could actually make it harder to stay healthy. Plus, 10 years on from her bestseller, How to Be a Woman, Catelyn Moran is back to share her secrets of making the most of middle age, including how writing lists can make you realize what's really important in life. And with this month being named Plastic Free July, thanks to a global movement to try to reduce plastic waste, we join the community of Abbotpoth in Wales as they set out to become the world's first plastic-free village. And if all that wasn't enough, I've got a mid-body workout to give your Wednesday a boost in today's Strictly Fitness. And your Austin Powers shirt. And my Austin, I like my <laughs> shirt. You can it's, just laughing at my Austin Powers blouse. It's groovy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> uh, Dr. Poonin, we saw you yesterday. We got through a lot. You're back again today because it's ever-changing, isn't it? Yes. So now what we're starting to see is the benefits of having that double vaccine. So yesterday, the health secretary announced that from the six of August, anyone that is a contact of anyone that's tested positive will no longer need to self-isolate, which is what currently happens. You've got to self-isolate, it causes a huge amount of disruption. So that is going to be the change. And if you are getting your second jab in and around that time, you do need to give two weeks just to allow that immune system to mount a response. This was also echoed in the announcement from the Education Secretary yesterday in that those under the age of 18 also um, do not need to self isolate if they've been identified as a contact of somebody who's positive. So this will have a huge knock-on effect in terms of ending isolation bubbles for schools, which is welcome news. Mm. But the health secretary has also said uh, that COVID cases could hit 100,000 patients to be aware of. Yeah, because yeah. it's really simple to yeah, deal with. It really it's just is. people need to, to, to know how to do yeah. it. So yeah, it, uh, the more people that take action, the more can be done. It scares my parents. Do list. Well, that was the first thing I learned because it's very easy once you've got a to-do list that has put curtain rail up, worm <laughs> cat, like sort of sort out childcare to forget that you've got to put yourself on it because other to go plastic free. Well, we can tell you since that was filmed, Abbot Porth was awarded the title of the world's first plastic free village. It's an absolutely brilliant thing. Hopefully, lots of villages and towns will follow suit. Um, it's almost time for Shirtly Fitness, but to get us in the mood for tonight's match, England versus Denmark, how about this from Clarence House? It's just. Look at that. You <laughs> that could be a clue. Come at home, baby. It's what coming. What time's uh, your ladies' night starting tonight? We are kicking it off at six. Okay, before kickoff. Yeah. An hour and a half later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, it's time for Strictly Fitness. Cue the music. So this is not the first move then? No, this is not the first All right, move. All right, what is the first move? <laughs> so the first move today is torso twist. We're going to stand with our legs hip width apart, put our arms across our chest with the elbows popped up. And I want you to rotate over to the right and make sure that that bottom foot is also rotating. And then the same thing to the left. Now, Rav is doing our seated version. And for the seated version, you do exactly the same thing. Roll. Our second exercise is standing knee crunch. We're going to put our hands behind our head and we're going to bring our left elbow over to our right knee and then swap it over right elbow to left knee and again if you're seated down just lean across as far as you can and our last exercise is a high knee reaches hands up it's more fun that way Aliash always says that and all I want you to do is bring the knees up as high as you can 
up as high as you can. And if you're sat down, put your hands up and just make sure you get your legs straight up. And that is it. Okay, lovely. Where's he watching the football tonight then? He's You're watching it with the lads. Oh, 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 oh. Lads, I say. <laughs> What's the, we'll have the, everyone's forgotten about the British and Irish. Like. Oh, I know, they're going to do great, aren't they? Right, they're probably warming up for their game tonight. The England footballers definitely will be. And so are you right now for Strictly Fitness. Take it away, Al. With a midweek mid-body workout, it's Jeanette Munro. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one, that is. I can feel yeah. that. Yeah. Nice, lovely stretch. Can you on the chair? You right after yeah. that? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> All right, I'll see you at six o'clock. Nice one. Uh, OT's in the swivel chair tomorrow, and we've got a double dose of Strictly. Uh, Strictly sparkling, in fact, as Claudia Winkleman looks ahead to the new series and tells us what she makes of Anton becoming a judge. And Dr. Zand will be here with the latest on the big health stories of the day. He certainly will be. And Chris Bavin shares his tips on how you can halve the cost of your weekly shop. Enjoy the game tonight it, if you're getting taken away with football fever. <laughs> That's what she says. Home. Yeah. I'll leave you with that. See you tomorrow. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>